Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Montana Lab Training Project. Last time we learned one part of the animation add-on, the set speed blocks. In today's video, we will first review the application of set speed blocks and then continue to introduce the waiting blocks. Now let's review the application of the set speed blocks. We know that the key of set speed block is the differential motion. Simply, the set speed blocks are able to control the rotation of Metabo's two wheels separately. For example, when we use this block, the left wheel will run forward while the right wheel keeps still, and we can draw a clockwise circle. However, the robot has been circling all the time. We need to use this block to stop it. So what will happen if we use this set of left wheel to move forward block and set speed of right wheel to move forward block simultaneously? The Matata bolt will go straight directly and we've already known how to stop them. Let's just give it a break. While playing, we figure out that once the coding block instructions were sent, Matata Bolt will follow the instruction indefinitely. The way to stop it is to put the stop wheel motion block accordingly to give the instructions which is quite inconvenient. Can we directly add a stop wheel motion block accordingly? Well, nothing happens in this case. That's because we didn't set the time to maintain the first state. So the Matata Bolt will default the last state which is the state of these two blocks. Stop the left wheel and stop the right wheel. How do we solve this problem? Please allow me to introduce today's protagonist, waiting blocks. Let's see what will happen if we put this yellow block between the first state, which is go street, and the second state, which is stop at both two wheels motion. As we can see, Matata Bolt maintains its first state, which is go straight, for one second, and then maintains its second state, which is stop. What needs to be emphasized here is that the waiting blocks can be used with number blocks. When we don't attach number blocks, it means maintain a state for one second. If we attach number blocks too, it means maintain a state for two seconds, and so on. It will maintain the state from 1 second to 6 seconds. Simply put, waiting block will maintain the state before it for a specific time. Let's take a look at the application of waiting block by two challenges. First challenge, we need to draw a U-turn, just like the runway we usually see. A U-turn contains a string line and a curve. First, we use these two blocks to let the ball go straight for maybe 2 seconds, and then we let the ball turn left. I'm pretty sure you still remember how to make it turn left. So I will stop left wheel by using this block. In this state, the ball's right wheel can still move. So we maintain this state for 4 seconds. See, a perfect U-turn just be drawn. Second challenge, we try to draw two tangent circles. First, we set the left wheel speed to 3 to keep this state for 4 seconds. We draw a circle clockwise, and then we draw another one counterclockwise. Now we have what we want.
in actual operation. The time that a state is maintained is closely related to the graphic we draw. For example, the state of our circle this time maintained for 4 seconds, which allows us to just have a circle. Our animation add-on can do lots of interesting things except drawing. Now, I want to create my own story. Matabo gets up late. His mom pisses off. In order to catch the time, Matabo needs to drive a little bit fast than usually on his way to school. Oh, I forgot to set up a clock. You are always. Hurry up. You need to go right now. Finally, here comes the conclusion. First, we revealed and consolidated the state speed blocks. We figured out that when two or more states were given, since the time of the previous state is not set, Matabo will default to maintain the previous state for zero seconds and went straight to the next state. Second, in order to solve this problem, we explained the function of waiting block in detail. Third, with the knowledge we have acquired, we drew some interesting pictures exploring the application of waiting blocks in practical operation. Last but not least, we shared a funny story and we hope it can stimulate your imagination. Well, today's video ends here. In next video, we will introduce these funny blocks, look blocks. See you next time. Bye bye.